my, as you see my intro, I, I don't, I'm not a normal kid, just a uh, short word. So, uh, what school I go? So number one, I don't go to school. Aha. So journey starts in a short way. So, uh, beginning of my, my, what should I say, my devonus. So, I won my first RoboFest competition. So, with that, I got a confidence in me, saying that, yes, if one victory is there, one another victory can come to me. So, with that, I continued. Went to various college, went RoboFest, and yeah, that confidence went into me. Then I started programming and learned and learned and learned. Then I started hacking. People over here, quick disclaimer, I'm not hacking. <laughs> so yeah, after learning hacking, I was interested in machine learning. I learned machines. Operated a jigsaw. People were scared for me. Oh yeah, I said, better get scared. You're gonna see a devil. Yeah. So with that, I continue. Continue, continue, and continue. And then, period of time, I was still in school. That was actually my third year of this, like, after write exams, obviously. So, uh, writing exams, but I had a competition, a drone competition. But I was so, like, excited to fly a drone and race with it. So, I went to IDRL, which is India's first drone racing league. It was in Gujarat, IIT Gujarat. I was, I, I wanted to go. I convinced, I convinced my mom, mom, I wanted to do this, amazing. And my parents say, A okay. <laughs> yeah, we spent a lot of money, got a lot of students, but hey, who's the winner at the end of the day? It's me. <laughs> I was in top 20 flyers, which was good in beginner's level, which was actually just proud of myself. With that, uh, I had to go to school back, where like, teachers were a big complaint. What about your attendance? You don't come on time, you don't come to school at all, where are your exam, what are your homework? <laughs> uh, Ma'am, may I ask you a question? What did you achieve in your life? So like, how dare you ask me that? Get out of here. So I'm like, okay. So it happened like that. So, okay. So when I came to home, had my khana, everything, I was sleeping. I was thinking in my mind. I asked today my teacher this question. What will I ask her tomorrow? <laughs> As an excuse, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was not well in academics. But, I had to make myself a little good, right? So, it went a little fishy because my teachers hated me a lot. I was the most hated student in the world. Uh, not in the world, maybe in my school. Yeah, so, teachers like always complaining to my mom. Ah, he doesn't come to school. He doesn't have an exam. Where's our attendance? Blah, blah, blah. Homework. Like, I said, Mom, I actually made some uh, big excuses to my mom also sometimes. And she later find it out. That, uh, because I, made, I have a fever, Mom. I don't want to go to school. So, I was staying at home. Just to avoid school. Because I don't want to go to school. It's not like everyone should not go to school. Because I just tried it. Because I wanted to achieve more. I wanted to go step by step. I just didn't want to study 10 years. I just wanted to achieve more. Then I saw people doing this kind of innovations and things. Then I thought, why can't I just step out of school, learn myself, and make my own? So then school was a dash for me. And yeah, I dropped out for now. After I had my time. Yeah, because I had to get myself a <laughs> 
So then we have a mom decided I'll complete my seventh and eighth class by my own. Yeah, it was not uh, pretty easy, obviously, because I don't study very well. So we hired two tutors, one in morning, one in evening. And then it went till 23 days, uh, two and three, yeah. It went till 23 days. Then I finished my seventh class, flat 23 days, and got my exams. Yay! I went to class. Uh, as per my age also, it was not, people were shocked that, how this kid in eight, I'm in fifth. What the heck? Like, you better get hacked. Yeah. <laughs> so, it went like that. Then, same way, I finished 8. Now, ninth, 11. <laughs> I'm 11 years old and ninth class. People say, is it a miracle? Or, I am I blinded? Uh, I have no answer for that. So, it continued like that. And... Various events were coming to me. So I wanted to go to that event. I wanted to go to this event. I went to hackathons. I went to various events. It's not as uh, fun. I can learn them. Yeah, I do get some fun time. Yeah. So, in that, I learned so many things. It's not about being funny. It's not about getting, like, spoiling your... And uh, I don't know, my kid's life. And the funny joke, when I went to class in my fab academy, there was a head so over there. So he said that we have big children and a small kid. Like, I was still in there. So, oh, sorry, sorry, we have a small boy. No, he's not a boy. Technically, he's a boy. Is Blant is a boy? Technically, he's a big kid. Like, okay, then fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was little, that kind of guy, people call me kid and things, but who? I, I taught myself that I'm more than a kid every time and I can do much better. So I can operate tools, but I go to any local lab and say, like, why touching tools? Don't touch it. You'll get your heart attack. Please sir, please slip that word and explain me, if I touch at a safe zone, why will I get radiation? It doesn't make any sense. I know how the machine worked, I know how everything worked, uh, a little bit. So, like that, I was learning, 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 till I think I can't teach my hands more. <laughs> so, like that, I went on, I learned more things. Some parts I had my first phone, it was a Motorola, just for saying it, and it crashed. Now I have a new phone. So I was learning things from it. Then I was so like, I wanted to learn each programming. I was like a big time hacker at that time. I mean, now I am. Huh? But I'm learning new languages in programming, and I want to learn more. Because I thought that when you earn on yourself, and no one doesn't like someone doesn't motivate you you motivate yourself go to your best friend go to your mom go to your parent like father anyone go to them but if you want to get peace you can be alone but in my life the big thing i just wanted a motivation and i got it from my parents there they are that and I first had a question for myself if like people say that like sometime like people say that if you don't go to school you can't get a degree you don't get a you can't go to a college so I got like bamboozled yeah because I was a kid so I said bamboozle yourself bro who are you to tell me? It's my life. Yeah, my parents are ready to live my life because I'll never get this age back. That's 
true actually yeah i do that some fun times and i play very well it's like i am not a game master but yeah but still but i love my life how it goes i get into opportunities and opportunities that i want to start my own startup and i did it and the ceo and founder actually a co-founder of my company i am ceo and the co-founder is still so yeah things went down like that and my company motor were get into young innovations bring them into market as soon as possible meaning if you go to any young innovation it can be anyone just get the idea which is suitable for current problems of future problems we get them a one year training after getting a one year training they try to file a patent and start working on that so there we make a product a company where people can change the future that was my motto as a the company's motto but i just wanted to start more and more companies like anyone will like to do but i like to do more and more so yeah my dream is to become a biggest businessman in the world and yeah many things like driving rolls royce and lamborghini yeah i had that dream when i was like 8 yeah i'm never now so i had some crappy ideas so me and my mom was discussed like we were in a cafe in my home so we discussed about our crappy ideas but a crappy idea i found a idea which is suitable for people it's a smart robot it can teach any person who wants to learn independently like me suppose i want i want to learn independently i don't want to go to school so because school is a dash for me yeah it's for the big dash i don't know how dash big dash is but it's a lot of big dash <laughs> so that smart robot which can teach me or questions are it's like a amazon alexa but modeling that all in right now for it's a their market i wanted to different different on different on different i got silly ideas more but me and my mom yet to find out a good idea from the silly ideas <coughs> that's how i thought my my plan will go so this year i'm doing fab academy where i can learn so many things so people uh, who doesn't know fab academy so fab academy is from neil krishan for fee he is from mit bits and atoms so basically the theme is you can learn whatever you want to do make anything and everything so it was i said oh yeah it's perfect for me but uh number one they got shock for some tries i got rejected you know because of my age and some disclaimer problems that i can't handle at tools okay it's your issue then i waited till 2 years and finally 2019 my lucky year i am in fab academy yay so learning more things in fab academy which will let me to make my own products then i can finally make it into markets and get this innovation to the people as soon as possible that was my thing but still i have a question what will i do i don't know so this same question i ask you what will you do if uh, you had seen life like me yeah in my life i had lot of problems because uh, number one i still remember uh when my drone racing was there i like you know because of my age people just rejected me and it's like a politics money will get you anything as not everything sometimes so yeah we me and my mom had a hard time at that time so we we learned we but some parts we are about to give up but we never give up that was my most motivation 
that I never, ever, ever in my life, I'm going to give up. Because that's what I'm made of. I never give up. Thank you. And I can't tell it's TMI for giving this opportunity.